this Buckeye drill is something we, we started doing uh, this winter. And I really like it a lot. I'm going to show two different ways we do it. What we're trying to emphasize is, one, when you pick a ball up, throw it. As soon as you pick a ball up, it should be thrown. What most guys do, especially younger guys, is they pick a ball up and they stop playing. Watch your practices, how often when the ball goes on the ground, they stop playing and you stop. What we as coaches often do, especially we do six on six or something live, we tend to kill the play as soon as the ball goes on the ground because you want to teach. Well, what you're doing is teaching them as soon as the ball goes on the ground to stop playing. Let the ball get picked up, either somebody get an offense or get it cleared. But what we're trying to do here is, is teach them to pick it up and throw it twice. We talk about that in six versus zero, we pick it up twice. A lot of our ground balls, we pick it up, we throw it once. We're trying to get the Buckeye drills by throwing it twice, right away. We also want to talk about, this works on getting in front of your teammate, being a good supporting your teammate. If I'm picking the ball up and my teammate's behind me, He's not as helping as much as if he's in front of him. He's, a, he's in a better position to outlet the ball. When you see or hear yourself yelling at players to move the ball, 90, 80% of the time, the reason he's not moving the ball is not his fault. It's because nobody else in his team is in position for him to throw the ball to. So look on those situations when someone's holding on to the ball too long, we tend to concentrate on that guy. And we should be doing is concentrating on his teammates. Are they in position to throw the ball? Whether it's off a ground ball or all even in pressure, you see a guy in, in trouble with the ball and all his teammates are standing still. We tend to yell at the guy with the ball when all of his teammates are doing the thing that's wrong. The guy with the ball is running for his life and we're screaming at him for the ball. Well, his teammates aren't helping him. And that's what, something to look at as, a, as, a, as a coaching. Um, We'll do this with a chaser now. The video will show you without a chaser with the little guys. These are guys from California. These are you. I think these are you 13 guys. With, we've done this with our skill session for our club. We've done it with our U 2025s up through our high school guys. And the 2025s, 2024s, even actually up to 2020s, we didn't have a chaser because we want to get the one part down first. And I'll show you the two different, two different parts to it. All right, the way it works is we have three lines. They're about eight to 10 yards apart and they're abreast. All right, so we have a line in the middle with the balls. He's a scooper. This is one outlet. This is another outlet. As soon as he scoops the ball, he can throw it to either side, his choice. Whoever, wherever he throws it, this guy now has to throw it immediately to that line. He will circle to the outside and throw the ball back. He's not here yet, but our goalie is going to be here. We don't put our goalies in live ground ball drills because they don't have any arm pads on. Right? And normally, I only have one goalie in the team. We don't want them to get hurt. So our goalies very often are out. It's a scoop, throw, throw, and on the move, circle, and then throw to your here's our goalie now. So now they're gonna, you can see that they do this pretty well here. Now pick it up, throw it right away, throw it right away, circle, get it back to our goalie right here. Pick it up, throw, and I tend not to wait for the one dr drill to be over. I like mayhem in here. I want guys going back and forth, guys moving all over the place. I want them to struggle with um, all that kind of stuff going on because it makes it more difficult from the concept of where the game's going to be. So now I'm gonna do, and what I'm doing here is see this blue line right here? You noticed almost every time they did it, they were finishing up here towards the end. I said, I want you to make both passes before this blue line. What it does, it makes them throw the ball sooner. From watching the film, what they did is they slowed down running. <laughs> I'm not so sure the ball got out of the stick any faster, but they, show, they slowed down running. So I'm not sure to accomplish what I was trying to accomplish, but we want them to get the ball in and out of their sticks fast enough that they should, shouldn't be going 30 yards of field. Throw, throw, circle, throw. You know, the ball rolling. Throw, throw, and everything's on the, notice everything here is on the move. Throw, throw, right, everything's on the move. These guys were struggling a little bit, it was freezing cold for California, for anybody's standards, let alone California standards. All right, circle, throw, 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 
throw. And you can see they're, getting, they're doing a better job. This guy's out in front. If they're out in front, the th <coughs> thrower's able to protect his hands with his body if anybody chasing. If he has to turn to the ball, be someone behind him, his hands are exposed to the guy chasing. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add the chaser. So there's a guy scooping. This guy's chasing. It's token pressure. We're not trying to whack anybody. He, now, once the ball's thrown, he's trying to get between the two guys that are playing catch, which makes them have to read and react. We always talk about don't be an I, right? If the guy with the ball is throwing the ball to you, don't be an I between the ball, the defender, and you, right? So it makes them move their feet a little bit, and they got to think about with the ball. In the beginning, they're just throwing it, just catching and throwing, catch, uh, catching, throwing, catching, throwing. Now they got to think a little bit and react where the defender is and move their feet. So throw it. Watch, this guy does a really bad job. He throws it right to the bad guy, all right? Um, so we scoop. They were very, very confused a lot, all right? We throw it right now. Up, oh, he throws it to the wrong guy. So he just threw it. All he was thinking about was throwing the ball. Now we're going to try to make sure we go up, throw the ball to the correct guy. Good. All right? We scoop. We throw. Boom. Nice back door. Basketball players will be the best at this. Your best guys at this drill will be your basketball players. Now he's not, not moving his feet. He's not moving his feet. We want to make them move their feet when they're doing this. Scoop it. Throw. All right? They get better at this as we went along. Good. Throw it. Not much of it. Not much of it. Good. The different guys were pretty good at backdooring. And then moving their feet right away. Boom. Good read. Good job. 